What's up everyone? My name is Jonathan. I'm a wellness coach at Saddell Solutions. Um, I hope everyone's staying safe, um, taking time for themselves to de-stress from working from home, spending time with family, um, getting outdoors, enjoying the sunlight, um, you know, and just enjoying the summertime. Uh, so for today's workout, we're going to be focused on using our abs and obliques, all right? So we're going to do a quick little plank circuit, all right? Um, the setup is going to be the same that we did in the past, so three rounds, um, three exercises within each round, um, and doing each round twice. Uh, but the thing is, it's gonna, we're going to do 30 seconds uh, of work, so back to back to back, 30 seconds of the three different variations of the planks, and then we're going to do the rest of 15 seconds at the end. All right, so 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, and then with the rest of 15 seconds at the end. So we're going back to back to back, um, and then resting at the end. All right. Um, so it's important to keep it's important to keep our form intact. So we're going to use a lot of our glutes as well. Um, and yeah, so we'll go ahead and get started. Um, but first, before we get to that, let's actually, of course, let's start with the warm up. Let's start our warm up now. Um, first, thing we're going to do is pretty much we're going to do a standing jumping jack. All right, so we're, <clears throat> but we're just going to use our, our arms, all right? Um, really loosen up the shoulders, really open up our chest as well. Um, so what we're going to do is just have your palms facing, facing, facing away from you, and you're just doing standing jumping jacks. All right, just focus on using the arms. All right, really loosen up the shoulders. Um, so it's important that when we get into our plank circuit, because we're going to be using a lot of our shoulders as well. All right, connect with your breath. Breathe in as you go up. And breathe out as you go down. All right. So really get that nice stretch at the top as well, too. All right. Really stretch up. Yeah. All right. Good. Just a few more. Good. Remember to connect with your breath. Good. All right. Relax. Shake it out a little bit. All right. Now we're just going to do some shoulder rolls. All right. So just have your arms nice and relaxed and just focus on using your traps. Um, and your uh, your deltoids, all right. So we're just gonna roll our short uh, roll our shoulder blades forward. All right. So we do ten of those. Very good. Four. Five. Good. Five more. Six. Seven. Good. Eight. Nine. And ten. Good. Now we'll go ten backwards. Really open up the shoulder blades. Working our traps as well. We want to go in that circular motion. So we're going to protract our scapulas and we're going to retract them as we go back. Good. All right, just a few more. Good, and all that. So good, just go ahead and shake that out. All right, now we're gonna get our glutes activated, all right? So like I said, we're gonna use a lot of our glutes because as we're in our plank form, we're gonna have to squeeze those glutes together to help maintain um, our, you know, maintain our butt um, at a good level um, and keeping our form form good. All right, so what we're gonna do is gonna have a slight bend in our knees, all right? Hinging at the hips just a little bit, all right? A little bit forward, and all we're doing is just kicking back with one leg, all right? So we're focusing, uh, so we're gonna use a little bit of balance as well. All right, so we're gonna do just 10 kickbacks. Very good. Four, five, good. Six, you start to feel the glutes being activated as you're doing it. Good. Eight, two more. Five, and last one. And 10, good, go ahead and relax. Switch legs, now anchor our weight into that, uh, to that right leg, knee slightly bent, and just focus on your balance. Um, push your weight back into your heel, all right? And just doing, uh, with our left leg, just kicking straight back, all right? Really feel our glutes being activated. Good. Four. Five. Five more. Six. Seven, good. Eight, two more. Nine, last one, and ten. Good. All right, now we're going to um, get them a little bit more activated by just doing five five body weight squat, squats. Um, that, that, that'd be enough. All right, so focus on anchor, pushing our weight back down into our heels, kind of right back up. 
All right, so do four more. Good. Good. And then last one. And good. All right, so we're going to do one, one last uh, warm-up. Our exercise is going to be just to uh, focus on activating our core now. So we're going to do is going to be on our back. All right. Palms pressing down um, in front of you to where your, your heels are touching your fingertips pretty much. All right. What we're going to do is we're just going to actually, we're actually going to lift our legs up to a tabletop position. All right. And we're going to focus on bringing one leg down at a time. Now it's important that we're going to get our legs as close as we can to the floor and come right back up. All right. And switch. Breathe. Anchor, those, anchor that weight down into your palms. Get that core activated. Good. One leg at a time. Good. Focus on your breathing. Connect with your breathing. Good. As you're breathing in, as you're going down, breathing in. Exhale as you go up. Good. All right, just a few more seconds. And last one, and the last. Good. Come on, roll yourself up. All right, so that's it for the warm up. Uh, now that we got our glutes activated, we got our shoulders uh, nice and loose. Um, we got we got our abs and obliques activated as well. Um, so we'll go ahead and start with the first round. All right, guys, let's get to it. Let's get to start with the first round. Uh, remember, like I said, so we're going to do 30 seconds on, so 30 seconds, 30 seconds, set 30 seconds. So a minute, 30 seconds of straight plank work, right? Of straight actual work. And then at the end, we need to rest for 15 seconds and then get right back into it. All right. So for the first uh, three variation planks that we're doing is we're starting on our left side. All right. So we're going to do a side plank. All right. So remember to keep your um, arms beneath your shoulders. All right. And do the side plank. Have your arms flat on the floor to help anchor that anchor that weight down, help with your balance. Um, and there's two ways you can you can have your feet. You can stack your feet like how I'm doing it right now, or you can stagger your feet um, this way. All right, one in front of the other. Um, and then, like I said, 30 seconds. And then after that, around the 30 second mark, we're gonna rotate over, and then we're gonna do just a forearm plank on our toes um, and on your elbows. All right. Modification for this, if you need, is just drop down on your knees. Um, and then focus on um, your breathing as well. All right. Um, and then once that 30 second, or well, we also have to remember to um, keep our glutes engaged. All right. So then squeeze your glutes together. Um, helps with um, using our core more as well. All right. And then once that minute mark is up, then we'll switch over, and then we'll go ahead and we'll do a, a side plank on our right side. All right. Um, the modification for the side plank is being able to, like I said. Keep your dropping down to your knees, but also try to keep um, your hips off the floor. All right, so your knees can be on the floor, but try to keep your hips off the floor. All right, so so let's uh, let's go ahead and let's get started. Uh, first, we'll start with the left side. Yeah, remember back to the uh, uh, a regular plank, elbows and toes, and then going on our right side. All right, you guys know you guys know the modifications. Drop it to your knees um, when you need to, but try to push yourself. Um, until you reach that point to where you feel like you have to drop your knees. All right, so um, let's get ready. Here we go. Starting in five seconds, the left side plank. So let's go ahead and get our start on the floor. All right, so try to lift that. Just try to keep your hips up. Connect with your breathing. Take your arm a little bit. Good. Thirty seconds. 15. Good guys. Remember when you guys when, when you guys reach to that point, go ahead and drop down to that knee to your knees. Um, but it's important to keep your hips off the floor. Alright. Three, two, one, and rotate over to a full uh, full regular plank, elbows and toes. Alright, keep that butt a little bit more elevated than you think. Um, and just focus on connect with your breathing. Keep your core nice and tight. Squeeze your glutes together. Good. Ten more seconds. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. And rotate over to our right side. Good. 
good. Like to feel the burn in the shoulders a little bit, which is okay. All right, working our obliques right here, so the side. Good. Two, one, and good. All right, we'll last for 15 seconds. Um, then we'll get started back on the left side. All right, so um, so yeah, good first round, guys. Get right to the next one right away. Um, don't don't waste any time. And let's get started. Left side. And right, so you can either stack your feet. If you can stack your feet. Uh, personally, I like to stack my feet. Just connect with your breathing. So the side planks really works works out that that um, the obliques right here on the side, and it's a great workout for that for that muscle. Good. And rotate over. Good. Good. 15 seconds. Squeeze your glutes together. Connect with your breathing. Three, two, one, and rotate over to the right side. Good. Almost done, guys. Good. Keep working. Almost done. Two, one, and relax. Good. All right. Get a quick little break uh, and move on to round two. Welcome back to round two. So for the next three planks that we have is, uh, I like to call it a rocker plank because you're pretty, in a sense, you're rocking back and forth. All right, so you're really working out our shoulders as well, working out our core, but we're also working out our serratus anterior muscles, which are, which are deep, um, deep beneath our chest muscles, um, our pectoralis majors, I guess, um, but it really connects to the ribs, so it helps with our core as well. Um, so we're gonna be in the regular plank position, all right, forearm and toes. And what we're gonna do is with our, with our toes and with our arms, we're just gonna rock forward a little bit and then rock back. All right, so you're using our core to help with our stability, help with our balance, right? All right, so modification for this, so dropping down to those knees, all right, a little bit underneath you. All right, get those hips underneath you as well and rock it back and forth this way, all right? Um, the second plank that we have for this round, our second variation, is back into that full plank position, right? And we're just gonna point each arm up. So really try to shift that weight a little bit. Point up each arm, all right? You wanna uh, have minimal rotation as, as you can. All right, so I don't wanna see, or I want you guys really rotating that body over just so you can point. All right, really focus on shifting that weight over a little bit, point and point, all right? Kind of have your feet at a wider stance to help with your stability and balance as well. All right, and then modification for this, core chop down to your knees and do the pointing. All right, um, the last variation for this workout, for this round, um, back into the place, but instead, of, instead of lifting each arm, pointing with each arm, we're just gonna lift each leg up. All right, so you're gonna feel a little bit tightness in your back, which that's okay, because we're working on our lower back when we lift our legs up like that. I'm lifting our legs back, so um, so yeah. So those are three variations, same same exact uh, format. Minute thirty seconds on straight, fifteen seconds rest between uh, each breath. All right, so um, let's get to it. Go. Sorry, in five seconds. Let's go ahead and start with the the rock roll. All right, forearms and toes. All right, just walking back and forth. All right, focus on using your abs, using your core. Help with the stability, focus on your breathing. Focus on using more of your forearms to help get you up instead of your toes. Good, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, now we're just gonna 
point up. We're going to wider stance to help with your balance. Good. Relax. Minimal, so we want minimal rotation. All right, so we don't want to, I don't want you guys to rotate your body halfway just to point up. All right, so minimal rotation and point up. Good. Three, two, one. And hold that plank and lift each leg up one at a time. Good. Like I said, you, you might feel, uh, you'll start to feel your lower back working, which is fine. Totally normal for it to work like that, to feel like that. Good. Five seconds. And relax. Give a 15 second rest and get back into the rocker, all right? You're doing good, guys. So it's, uh, you start to feel a little bit strain on your shoulder, which is fine. Um, you're gonna work during your abs too. All right, back to the rocker. And start really rocking forward and back. Like I said, if you drop your knees, just get your hips underneath you as well. And just rocking back and forth. All right. Really push yourself, try to get on your toes. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and right into the corner. So if you need to go get down to your knees on this one, that's fine. All right, focus on Just spread your legs out a little bit more to help with the balance. But if you really challenge yourself here, get on your feet. 15 seconds. Good, two, one, and we'll, or back to our legs. Good. Five more seconds. Two, one, and relax. Good. All right, let's do work. You feel, I'm starting to feel, starting to get a little sweating. Feeling the abs really working now, uh, which is good. I'm a little bit out of breath too, as you can see. Um, get a quick water break, then move on to round three. Welcome back to the last spot in the round. We have two more reps to do. Um, three more exercises, um, you know, let's get it. You guys are killing it so far. Um, so first, so this, these variation plates are going to be on our hands and our toes this time, right? So not on our forearms, but we're going to be on our hands. All right. So first variation for this last round is going to be on our toes and just holding this plank position right here. So have your hands in your shoulders. All right. So we're going to hold it here for 30 seconds. And then we're going to transition into a quadruped plank. All right. So we're opposite arm and leg reaching out. All right. And then from here, uh, we're gonna transition into a Spider-Man plank. So we're gonna do in that plank position, but we're gonna reach our knee up to our elbow, same side. All right, knee to elbow. All right, so we'll work the obliques on our last Spider-Man plank. Um, modification for all these, just drop down to your knees. All right, if you need to. All right, so focus. So try to get um, on your toes first. And then when, that, when the time comes where you're getting uh, really fatigued, go ahead and drop down to your knees so that way you can get a little bit of rest in between too. Um, for the Spider-Man plank, all right, you, you can drop down to your knees, but each time you're gonna reach your leg out and then crunch up, all right? Reach your leg out and then crunch up to that elbow. All right, so uh, let's, let's kill this last round, guys. All the way through, try to really push yourself um, and you know, just don't cheat yourself either, all right? So we get the time started, so we're gonna start with the high, just a regular high plank, all right? On the hands and on our toes, all right? Keep that butt elevated, all right? Keep your shoulders, our hands underneath your shoulders, so you don't wanna have your butt down, because it's gonna cause the strain on your back. All right, keep that butt elevated, all right? And just focus on your breathing. Good. Good work. 10 seconds. 
Alright, five, four, three, two, one. And go ahead and transition into that leg. So opposite arm and leg. Really reach up. Focus on your balance. Alright, if you need to drop down to your knees for this one, that's fine. But you can still reach out with your opposite arm and leg. Alright, reach as high as you can. Alright, focus on that balance. But like I said, really push yourself this last round. Alright. Five more seconds. Two, one, and relax. All right, Spider-Man plank, that knee to the elbow. Good. Really start to feel the obliques. Right, good. All right, you need to drop down your knees. Remember, like I said, reach out with that leg to the elbow. Reach out with that leg to the other. All right, three, two, one, and last. Good, 15 seconds. Shake off those wrists a little bit. All right, last, last three right here. Last minute, 30 seconds for this round, all right? Here we go, three seconds. And start, high plank position. Really use that core. Squeeze your glutes at top, all right? Control your breathing. Good. 10 more seconds. And five, four, three. You ready for that transition? Two, one, and start. Transition to that quadruped, opposite arm and leg. Reach up, reach that leg up, reach that arm up. Good, 15 seconds, keep working guys. Now if you drop down to your knees, remember to reach opposite side every time. All right, it's like a bird dog. Well, it is a bird dog. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. And switch over to that Spider-Man plank. Good. 15 seconds. Now remember, um, reach that leg back every time, then crunch to your elbow. Back every time, crunch to your elbow. We're almost done, guys. Just keep working. Two, one, and relax. Good. All right, so you, you really start to feel your core on fire a little bit. Um, but that's it for this, for this workout. Quick little plank burnout. Um, Really focusing in on our, on our core and our, our, our shoulders as well, too. Um, as always, be safe. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, make sure to check out all the other videos from our great trainers. Um, you know, stay in touch. Shoot, an e shoot me an email if you guys have any questions, any concerns. Um, if not, we'll just have a keep, uh, keep being safe. Keep doing what you're doing. All right, enjoy the summer. Get out. Um, get some fresh air. Um, we'll see you guys next time.